Okay, Coach. Um, you opened the season on Friday with with the heartbreaking loss to Abilene Christian in overtime. Uh, I mean, for the first, it's the first time you guys have played in a really long time. What what did you what did you like from your team, and what are some things you think you can work you can work on moving forward? Uh, um, we did start on Friday against a really good uh, Abilene Christian University team. I uh, I didn't really know what to expect. It's been so long since uh, we've been on the field. Um, training has been okay, but I'm, I'm a little hesitant to see. Uh, how hard to push the kids because they they'd all been on quarantine and, and coming off of the Christmas break and uh, and if you train too hard before the first game you know kids start to tear big muscles like quads and hamstrings and then they're out for for a month so uh, I, I had a good feeling that we might be fit enough to compete against a team like Abilene Christian uh, but I wasn't 100 percent sure but once we kicked off I realized that we we're in a we we're in a pretty good spot um, we uh, we created more chances than they did in that game. Uh, but the trick is you have to actually score those chances, and we, we didn't do any of those. We didn't do that. Uh, Callista had a really good chance. Uh, Hannah had three good chances. Uh, could have easily scored four goals, but like I said, we didn't do that. Um, and then Abilene Christian uh, got us just a minute into uh, overtime, so we lost uh, we lost 1-0. Um, you asked uh, what did I think about the game. I thought that uh, we had some very good individual performances. Uh, we started two babies that night. Uh, Reagan Heelan is a freshman out of uh, Nebraska, and she started in goal for us. And uh, that is a uh, that is a big responsibility for a freshman to, to go into goal where uh, where you have to be mistake free. Because when you're the goalkeeper, if you make a mistake, uh, your team loses, right? Uh, she did great that night. She made uh, some some special saves, and she demonstrated uh, that she can play with her feet, which is something that we do with our goalkeepers that most people don't. And she demonstrated that she's she's going to learn that. I think she has a uh, right future here um, since this year doesn't count for eligibility she'll still have four falls by the time we're done with whatever we do this spring and uh, we also started Reagan Maddock out on uh, the left side and uh, I thought she was I thought she was great I could I could go down the list of some of the returners that I thought were great too but um, an overall good team performance and um, what usually happens with WT women soccer teams is they're better at the end of the year than they are at the beginning and so if that's our uh, start point, I feel pretty good about this spring. So you guys also scrimmage so raw state on Saturday. Probably saw some new faces that didn't play Friday. What what are maybe some things you learned on Saturday that can help you? And as you start this, as you head into Love of Christian on Friday. Well, um, what we wanted to do with that scrimmage was uh, play the kids that didn't play Friday night because I'm still trying to learn some of the new players. And uh, you know, even if um, even if currently you are, I don't know what the right term is, but on the second team. You know, you need games where you can show the coaching staff maybe you need some consideration to uh, to go into a, you know, the first team or, a, or sub into a game earlier than kind of where you stack in my mind right now. And a couple kids did that. They took the opportunity in that game to do that. Damaris Cruz is a junior college transfer. She's new to us. She scored a couple goals in that game. Um, but it was just a chance for, uh, you know, the kids that didn't play Friday night to get out and play Saturday morning. I think we scored five goals. Um, since all of our goalkeepers are hurt, except for Reagan, and the physical demands of goalkeeping are a little bit different, you, you couldn't play on the field Friday night for 90 minutes and then turn around and play Saturday morning. You, you can't do that in our sport. Uh, but a goalkeeper can. And she actually made some really good saves in that game, too. So uh, I think we got a lot out of that contest. What are you expecting out of your next contest? Well, we're supposed to play uh, Lubbock Christian on Friday night. They've already texted me this morning because they're afraid of the, uh, of the cold. And I don't know if there is a such thing as too cold. I don't know. But, so I'm ready to play. I don't know what's going to happen there. But um, that would be that would be a really good test because uh, we actually lost to them in the fall of uh, 2019 at their place uh, in overtime on a questionable uh, handball call. You can tell I remember that vividly, right? Um, so I'd love to uh, have a shot at those guys, and I think a lot of the returning players are ready to have a shot at those guys. But uh, it feels so good to play again, uh, and, and the kids are so excited to play Friday night that I'm really, I'm not sure that it matters who the next opponent is. They're just, they're just super excited to be back on the field and playing again. So following that last game, I mean, obviously your team played well, and you're, you're happy with it. I mean. The result, not so much. But what what do you tell your team after that, like, to make sure that they don't get too down on on that on, 
on the loss, but to move forward at a higher rate. Uh, some of the stuff that, that I just told you all, we, we talked about, right? If this is our starting point, uh, then I'm extremely happy because all we're going to do is learn and improve and get better over the next couple months. And uh, I think, just like I told them, I think that if, uh, if we can do all that, this, this conference could be ours. And so I, I don't think they were down on themselves too much. Uh, the one that takes uh, takes everything a little too much, like she's too hard on herself, is our front player. Her name's Hannah. And like I said, she missed three goals that night. So uh, I called her later that night to check on her, and she's bawling and crying. And so she takes things very hard when she makes mistakes, especially when it turns out that, that we end up losing. But those other mistakes that happened that night, and she's still going to light some people up this year.